Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTX. Get ready to learn something new today. My name is Gabe. And my name is Andrea. Friends, today we go back to Hualien. And this week, we're learning about something special, aren't we, Gabe? Yes, you're going to learn how to talk about Chinese manners and Chinese food. Sounds like fun! Let's start with today's key words. Now, friends, please say them with us. Our first one is chopstick. Chopstick. I eat my food with chopsticks. Smell. Say it again with me. Smell. The food smells great. Neighbor. Neighbor. Hal lives beside Sally. Hal is Sally's neighbor. Chicken. Chicken. Shirley eats chicken, but not fish. Cook. Cook. Brad makes good food. He is the best cook in that restaurant. Cook. Cook. Mom cooks the best food. Dish. Dish. Kung Pao chicken is my favorite Chinese dish. Mmm, that makes me hungry. Mm. Well, let's look at these keywords one more time. Chopstick. Chopstick. Smell. Smell. Neighbor. Neighbor. Chicken. Chicken. Cook. 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 And dish. Dish. Great job! Now let's go see Eddie! Hi! Okay. Hi, well, Eddie. Here's today's mission then. <clears throat> what kind of food does Patty's dad like? What kind of food does Patty's dad like? We'll find out today. Let's go to Hualien. Is dinner ready, Mom? Yes. Go get Paul. He's eating dinner with us. Why? His parents are home tonight. <sighs> okay. John, dear, can you get the chopsticks? Sure. Dinner smells good. Can I help? No, no, Patty. Sit here. I'm back with Paul. Hi, Uncle John. Susie Ai. Hi. Hello. Patty, this is Paul. He is our neighbor. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to be back in Hualien with our friends there. And Gabe, what are you holding? Andrea, I have chopsticks. Okay, are you going to eat something? I will later, but Andrea, we have to teach about chopsticks. Oh, oh yes, yes, that's right. It's a key word. Let's learn it together. Chopstick. Chopstick. You usually use two chopsticks together to eat food. You use the sticks in a special way to take food from a plate into your mouth. And some people like to use chopsticks when they eat. Other people like to use forks or knives when they eat. But in Asia, most people use chopsticks when they eat food. Yes, but if you're a foreigner like we are in Asia, we had to learn how to use chopsticks. Well, we do have other key words here. Yes, we do. Let's look at our next key word together. It is smell. Smell. When you smell something, you use your nose to notice it. You can smell food. You can smell flowers. 
And if something smells good, that means it has a good smell. Flowers smell good. Perfume, xiang shui, usually smells good. Some things smell bad. So you can use your nose to smell, or you can talk about how something smells. In our conversation, John says dinner smells good. We have another key word. It is neighbor. Neighbor. Your neighbor is someone who lives close to you. Maybe you live in the same building or on the same street. I always enjoyed playing games with my neighbors close by when I was a child. Hi, Paul. Hey. Let's eat, everyone. Patty, try some three cup chicken. Three cups of chicken? <laughs> no. Not three cups of chicken, three cup chicken. You need three cups of ingredients. Oh. Three cup chicken is really good. Mom is the best cook. Thanks. And here is some fried rice. No thanks. I love fried rice. Mom makes it sometimes. Well, I like fried rice too. Andrea, would you rather have fried rice or fried noodles? Ooh, I would rather have fried rice. Okay, fried rice is good. In this conversation, we hear a lot about chicken too. Let's talk about that key word, the word chicken. Chicken. Now, a chicken is a kind of bird that does not fly. And many people like to eat chicken. Chicken tastes good. Yes, chicken is the name of the animal or the bird, but we also call the meat what you eat chicken. So you can say you like to eat chicken, but don't say you like to eat chickens unless you like to eat many chickens. If you talk about eating chicken, don't put an S on the end. Just, I like to eat chicken. In our conversation, we learn about a special kind of chicken. It's called three cup chicken. It has three cups of three different ingredients. And Patty says this chicken is really good. Brian says, yeah, mom is the best cook. Now, let's talk about that word, the word cook. Say it again with me, cook. Good job. A cook is someone who makes food for others. That is a cook. Mom is the best cook. That means mom often makes food for her family and for others. You can ask someone, are you a good cook? Gabe, are, are you a good cook? <laughs> no, but Max is a good cook. That's true, Max is a good cook. Does your mom cook much Chinese food? No, mom cooks more American food. Dad likes American food. Yes, I remember. <laughs> What's that dish? Oyster omelet. Mmm, yum. It's really good. Try it, Patty. Uh, okay. This is interesting. Hey, Patty, do you want the fish head? Fish head? Patty, eat some vegetables. Thanks, Susie Ayi. Yes, it is important to eat your vegetables. Well, friends, we found the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what kind of food does Patty's dad like? What kind of food does Patty's dad like? He likes American food. Well, we learned that Patty's mom is a good cook, and we learned that she cooks more American food. Now we have another keyword. This time it's the <laughs> verb cook. Say it with me. Cook. 
Now, when you prepare food or get food ready, you are cooking it. So, a cook, the noun or the person, cooks food. And we know that Max from our other lesson also likes to cook food. He is a cook who likes to cook many kinds of food. In our conversation, Patty asks a question: "What's that dish?" Now. What does that mean? It's a key word. Let's learn it. Dish. Dish. A dish is something that you cook. Three cup chicken is a dish. It's food that you can eat. And you can talk about your favorite dish. Here's a good question you can ask somebody. What is your favorite dish? Word power. It's time for word power. This week we're talking about cooking Chinese food. You use a lot of things to cook Chinese food. Let's look at some of them. Do you like rice? Great. But before you eat it, you have to cook it. Cook rice in a rice cooker. Rice cooker. Rice cooker. Do you need to cut your food into small pieces? Cut the food on a cutting board. Cutting food is easier and safer on a cutting board. Cutting board. Cutting board. After you cut the food, put the food into a pot. You cook food in a pot. Put some water into the pot. Now you can cook the food in the pot. 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 You can also cook food in a wok. A wok is a big, wide pan. Many people use a wok to cook Chinese food. Wok. Wok. Some people use chopsticks when they cook. They use the chopsticks to put the food in the wok. People also eat with chopsticks. 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 Remember all these words when you talk about Chinese food. Then you'll have word power. Conversation replay. Is dinner ready, Mom? Yes. Go get Paul. He's eating dinner with us. Why? His parents are home tonight. Okay. John, dear, can you get the chopsticks? Sure. Dinner smells good. Can I help? No, no, Patty. Sit here. I'm back with Paul. Hi, Uncle John. Susie, Ai. Hi. Hello. Patty, this is Paul. He is our neighbor. Hi, Paul. Hey. Let's eat, everyone. Patty, try some three cup chicken. Three cups of chicken? <laughs> no, not three cups of chicken. Three cup chicken. You need three cups of ingredient. Oh. Three cup chicken is really good. Mom is the best cook. Thanks. And here is some fried rice. No thanks. I love fried rice. Mom makes it sometimes. Does your mom cook much Chinese food? No, mom cooks more American food. Dad likes American food. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Dish. Oyster omelet. Mmm, yum. It's really good. Try it, Patty. Uh, okay. This is interesting. Hey, Patty. Do you want the fish head? Fish head. Patty, eat some vegetables. 
Thanks, Susie Ie. Calendar phrase. Gabe, do you do you smell something? Yeah, yeah, I do, Andrea. Well, this smell, this smells great. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it does. Well, we do know what our calendar phrase is. It is this smells great. This smells great. Now we often use this phrase if you're eating something that smells good, and I'm sure it tastes good too. Andrea, something smells great right now, and yes. it's making me hungry. Okay, okay. Well, let's begin by looking at our calendar phrase skit. This smells great. This smells great. Marie, please try my beef noodle soup. Oh, this smells great. It looks great too. I really like it. It's my favorite soup. This smells great. Here you go. Thank you. Mmm. This smells great, and it tastes delicious. This smells great. This smells great. Eddie, what's for dinner? I think my chopsticks. Uh, Eddie, you can't eat your chopsticks. You can use your chopsticks to eat, but you can give us our question of the day. Okay. All right. Well, here it is. Who do you eat dinner with? Who do you eat dinner with? I usually eat dinner with my friends or with my family. Sounds good, friends. Thank you for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. Bye-bye, everybody.